Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kenny Wallace Show brought to you by Jags, the leader in high performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to jags.com. All right, the Bristol race is over. I know what I saw with my own eyes. Greg Stucker from Goodyear said, we are going to make these tires wear out because that's what NASCAR wants. So today's race at Bristol, that was the same tire that Denny Hamlin won on in the fall race back in 2023. Yes, sir, Reed. That was the exact same tire. What was the difference? Why were those tires wearing out? Well, last year they used something on the racetrack called the PJ1. Now you ask yourself, why are they using anything? Well, just like the Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio, the high lane is dominant. So that dirt track at Eldora, the high lane is dominant. And the fans love the high lane being dominant because the car's up there on the wall. It's beating and the banging sparks are flying. Once Jack Hewitt said, I'd rather lose running high <laughs> than to win running low. So the high lane has been dominant here at Bristol. So NASCAR said, we're going to put some of this, this grit solution on the bottom. So for years, they've used PJ1. I don't have no idea what it stands for. So for today's race, they use something called resin. R-S, or no, R-E-S-I-N, something like that. Well, uh, <laughs> Greg Stucker from Goodyear said, man, this is really wearing these tires out. Uh, big old press conference right in the middle of the race. Now imagine if you're Goodyear. 500 lap race at Bristol, and they just call an audible. Press conference, everybody come to the media center. So everybody goes running to the media center, and Greg Stucker from Goodyear says, look, this is the same tire. This is the same tire. The difference is the resin on the racetrack. All right, hopefully that brought you up to date on what was going on today. Now, here's the big thing. It was a tire wear race. Nobody wrecked out. Nobody blew a tire and went running into the wall. It was just, hey, this is a tire wear race. So everybody had to slow the roll. Oh, I got a vibration. Pit, pit. Actually, Denny Hamlin was leading the race. And he goes, I got a vibration. Crew chief said, pit, winning move. This is where experience comes in. Denny Hamlin pits, right? This is a winning move. A younger driver, somebody not experienced, they would have said, I got, I got a vibration. Crew chief would have said, hold on to it, buddy. But because of Denny Hamlin's experience and his crew chief's experience, they pit, the tire does not blow. Other drivers, I feel, whoa, you know, spin out, things like that. But man, I'll tell you what, uh, if you would listen to some people, you think there was a wreck every lap. I will say this, this was an odd race. It was an unbelievable race. It was unbelievable because it had a record amount of lead changes. I mean, I don't know what the final tally was, but the last time I looked with about 200 laps to go, 41 lead changes for the tire wear race at Bristol. It, it, was, a, it was a race of chess, like a chess game. You move here, I move there. It was incredible. So 41 lead changes, you know, with about 175, 200 laps to go. I thought it was a great race. Now, I see some of you fans out there can't change my mind. It was no good. Well, listen, hashtag, I thought it was one of the best races we've seen in years. Can't change my mind either. I believe some of you... Um, you know, I don't know what happened during the COVID uh, era around, you know, 2020, but you all came out of it dark, negative. And I've got to tell you something. I mean, I just landed. I just got back from Bristol. As you can tell, we're back in the studios already. And from what I saw uh, when I was at the racetrack, I was at the racetrack. You were not there. I was. Damn, Herman, calm down. Calm down, Herman. So I was at the racetrack. 
And what I saw was a lot of happy people. It has dawned on me that some of you in your houses, you're depressed. You came out of COVID all depressed. See that? Watch, I'm going to do it. Man, what a great race. Look at that crowd. That crowd is a lot bigger than it's been in years in the, the March-April race. Much bigger crowd NASCAR's gaining. Look at the TV ratings. Over 4 million people watching. So, some of you are going to take the negative route. I'm going, man, what a race because it was a hell of a race. You didn't know who was coming or going. And just like Kyle Larson said after the race, what just happened? What just happened? That was the first race that the great Kyle Larson had to take care of his equipment. He come out with a great finish. Now Kyle Larson, stand on the gas. Our greatest driver of this era has, has finally witnessed, finally felt a race where you can wreck yourself out if you drive too hard. This is the way, listen, this is the way it used to be back in the day. You had those motors at cast iron heads. The fans loved it. Yes, sir, Bobby Allison would win the race by two laps. One car would be on the lead lap all by himself, and here he'd come off at turn four. His motor did not blow because he took it. Fans were on their feet. <sighs> now we have everybody on the lead lap, side by side, door handle, door handle. I don't like, but that's only a couple of you. I'm calling you all out. Do what you want. But I got to tell you, hashtag can't change my mind. It was a great race. So all of you that still have COVID fog, let me grab my hand. Grab my hand. Do you got my hand? Do you feel? Okay, grab on. I'm pulling you out of that COVID fog. Hey, look at the Herminator. He's smiling. The Herminator is happy what a race it was. Danny Hamlin most likely upset you because we had him on Trackside Live just hours ago. I said, Denny, 70% of these fans are doing you, but 30% they love you. What do you like? He goes, I love it all, Herman. So what an incredible race put together by Denny Hamlin, right? Some of you don't like him, but he's winning. So you got to love that, right? Boo, you're in victory lane. <laughs> Did you watch after the race? Boo, you won, boo. <laughs> boo a guy in victory lane, that's hilarious. Hey, hey dummy, he's in victory lane. <laughs> so anyway, Denny Hamlin, the hero of the race, two Bristol wins in a row, locked into the, the championship, headed looking good, and how about Joe Gibbs? Joe Gibbs not looking good, race one, two, three. Race four and five, Phoenix and Bristol, Joe Gibbs at one time was one, two, three, four. So what a race today at Bristol. The fans loved it. When I was there, I just landed. I was, I was at Bristol repeating myself. The people at the racetrack, they love it. They're there, they feel it. It's only some of you that are upset that I want the dirt off the track. It was a better race with dirt on the track. Make your mind up. Make your mind up. The dirt is off the track. It was a barn burner. It was a great race. Is he going to blow a tire? Is he not going to blow a tire? They're pitting for tires. They got plenty of gas. All right, everybody. I think I broke it down for you. This race was a success. I told you what happened. Greg Stucker from Goodyear said, this was the same tire as the September race last year. This was the same tire. What happened? The resin. Wow. What is resin? Google it. Respond right here. What is resin? R-E-S-I-N. Sounds like something in baseball. Maybe they should go back to the PJ1 because the resin wore the track out. Bigger crowd than we've seen in the last 10 years for the March-April race. Great race. Uh, listen, I don't know what you saw, but I, I got good eyes. Can't change my mind. Hashtag can't change my mind. Respond right here. Tell me how bad you hate NASCAR. I hate NASCAR.
That's why I watched the whole race today. <laughs> Love you all. All right, everybody. Remember, we are in podcast form. All you have to do is check us out on iTunes or Spotify. Listen to us on the way to work in the morning or on the way back. Respond right here. Please like and subscribe. And remember, NASCAR is back. Five races already. We're approaching the end of March. The grass is growing. The sun is coming out. The birds are whistling. And remember, everybody, PMA, positive mental attitude. I don't like NASCAR.